Hey everyone, John Ryan here with Solutions 8, and today we're going to be discussing how to remarket to users in your e-commerce store using video. Now, you spend a whole bunch of time, effort, energy, and money sending a bunch of traffic to your site, whether that's in Google or Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or Pinterest or Snapchat or uh, LinkedIn or hopefully not LinkedIn. Uh, that's a bad place for e-commerce, um, but even like TikTok, everything. So regardless of where you're sending traffic to the site, you're spending you know harder money bringing those users to the site and hopefully have some sort of remarketing program in place, um, either in those channels or on Google or whatever it may be. Um, but I wanted to share with you a strategy that works really, really well. And it's something that has a high amount of uh, consistency and congruency. The, the user has a good experience with this type of remarketing, and that's using video ads to target a very specific audience when they are most likely in the market to buy. And now we use a YouTube video um, and we use it on all of the networks. So you wanna use it on the um, YouTube, like in stream or, or non-skippable sometimes, if you can use those if they're 15 seconds or less, uh, but even on the display network. So on the, the kind of the, 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 the uh, Google partners network, which is basically showing video on display uh, for remarketing purposes only. And the way you want to structure this is actually, let me just, I'll dive in and I'll show you what I'm doing. So we have this campaign here. Um, we have a smart shopping. And since, you know, this is basically the last 30 days, um, smart shopping does really well. 1600% ROAS. We spent four grand, made 65,000, which is fantastic. But this is a video remarketing campaign. And you can see that we have a 547% return estimate. So we spent $1,000 and we made 6,000 or 5,900 uh, with 78 sales. And now, we're spending about $100 a day, but obviously, you know, 550% return on that spend, we can start to increase this, especially because we're limited by budget. So that's going to be something we're going to be kind of raising this up, especially during the holiday season. This is when you want to have the most amount of impressions to be people because you and all of your competitors and everybody else is just flooding the airwaves with uh, with ad spend. And so you want to make sure that you're remaining in front of the person who has been to your website, looked at one of your products, and is probably ready to, to purchase. So the way that we set this up, is we have these product names here and they're going to be blurred out just because they're branded product names but they are an ad group by product name and you can see the views the cost per view the cost the conversion value and the return announcement and i'm using skippable in stream here just because i don't really care who is watching what video as long as that person that is watching whatever video they're watching on youtube i want them to be remarketed with the product video that i need them to see and the way that we're doing this is uh, if we, I'll just kind of uh, click on one, you can kind of see an example. So this one, I'll click on this product. I'm so sorry, it's blurred out. Uh, but we have a product here, a video here, and it's blurred out. This little area is blurred out with the name. But we have one video about the product that the user has gone to the website, looked at, or exited from, or added that product to the cart and did not buy. And I'll share with you how it looks. So we have this audience, and I'm so sorry that the name is going to be blurred out again for these two audiences here, but this one is a new one we're trying. You can kind of just ignore this one for now. But the first one is an audience that uh, we're using a Google Analytics tab, uh, sorry, tag, because I want to show it only to the people who have been to that specific, um, specific page. Also in the audience is the people who have been to that page, have not purchased, but also have uh, added the product to the cart. So that's all in this one audience here. And that's what we did for every single one of them. And the nice part about this is when you run these campaigns, what really takes place and all these audiences here again, and all these ad groups here will be blurred out again. I'm so sorry, I can't share the product name, but I want to share with you the structure. And the structure goes, if someone goes to the website, they may have gone to the website from any channel. That's why you want to use an analytics tag too as well, because you can sometimes pull in from other audience sources, whether they came from Instagram, you can market them with YouTube video. They came in from Pinterest or they came in from Facebook, you know, Instagram, whatever it may be. They can remarket uh, any of the kind of higher level um, type of segmentation that you could take advantage of in Google Analytics. And we have a video about this earlier about why what you could do inside of Google Analytics that you can't do inside of Google Ads with setting up your dynamic room or setting up your remarketing uh, audiences. And the nice part about this is using the analytics, using that strategy, I'm using a very hyper segmentation. So you have to have come to the site, you had to have looked at the product, you had to have either left after looking at that product or added that product to the cart and did not buy. And then what happens is later on, you go to YouTube and that video about that product that's sitting in your cart is being shown to you on YouTube or shown to you on a news channel. Well, let's say you go to, I don't know, you know, CNN.com or whatever. There's the video about the product that's sitting in your cart 
waiting for you to buy and it's telling you the reasons why you should buy the product and all the features and benefits and, and value propositions of that product. So rather than just kind of using remarketing like, yeah, they've been to my website and I'll show them a banner ad or yeah, they've been to my website, I'll show them, you know, and uh, I'll show a link to that product to purchase. This is using media in order to sell them in a video form when they've been to the website, when they've looked at the product, when they've added it to their cart and did not buy. Usually you probably have like an email mark, uh, an email marketing message that goes out and says like, hey, you left this item in your cart, why not buy? Same exact thing, only in video form, which is much more um, much more beneficial because I don't I don't have to set a frequency cap. I can show you that video 20 times and try to get you to to finally take that purchase or remind you every single day, hey, 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 you know, buy that product. So video marketing does really well. We have a 5x return on it. Um, you know, you spend six, seven cents per view, so it's not that expensive at all because six cents to a person who has been to the website, shown a purchase intent of that product and didn't buy it and then left six cents to try to get them back is, is very inexpensive, especially if you take, you know, two, three, four dollars to get them there. So really kind of cool pro tip I wanted to share with you works really well. We use it for a number of clients, but I wanted to kind of share with you a hyper segmentation of video remarketing for an e-commerce uh, that you can use to bring people back to the site to buy the products that they're interested in and show it in purchase intent. Thank you so much. If you like this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe. I think we're up to like 700 subscribers now. When we get to 1,000, we get to do lives, which is really, really cool. You get to see my awkward face, like, you know, talking to random strangers on the internet. Like, what's more fun than that? <laughs> uh, thank you so much. This is John Moran. Thanks again.